Soon. I mean, we hate to leave you, too. <laughs> Wardsy, boardsy, palsy. Here, boys, here's $10 each for you. $10? Stop right there, Warden. You've been a pal to us, almost a father. But accept your money? Never. What? You mean you won't take this money? Let me think. Oh, what a dilemma. Shall I take this money or shall I the not? Yes. From a pal like you, I'll take it. Good. I knew you would. Say, I've got an idea. What is it? Why don't you boys move in here permanently? Why not? The best offer we've had so far. Let me think. No, it would hurt us socially. Well, anyway, go straight this time, boys. And steer clear of that tough guy, Slug Mullen. Curse him, the rat? Yeah. He's framed you four times already. As though I didn't know it. Oh, say, why don't the cops arrest Slug Mullins once and let us go free for a change? Gee whiz, that reminds me of something. Wait a minute. Maybe he's going to pack us a lunch. Or perhaps bake a cake. And I think he can do it. <laughs> hey, boy, look. What's that, your scrapbook? No, posters. They're a little dusty. <laughs> You should serve a foghorn with that. Certainly. What do they say? $500 reward for Slug Mullins. Why, the fink isn't worth one cent. Certainly not. Well, they've been lying around my office for a year. I just forgot to send them out. What efficiency. Let's just tack these up. A swell idea, Blodgett. We'll plaster the town with these posters and put Slug Mullins right where he belongs. And will you? Good. You bet your life I will. My honor is at stake. Mine, too. Your hand. What, no newsreel photographers? What kind of a prison is this, anyway? Come on, Blodgett. Okay. Oh, gee, boys, you don't know how I'm going to miss you. Now, brace up, Wardy. Don't bust out crying. I won't. I'll try to be strong. But remember, you're always welcome here. Thanks a lot. Well, goodbye, Wart. I mean, Wardy. Just one more for good luck. <laughs> <laughs> gee, that Warden sure likes you. Wouldn't it be funny if I had to marry him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I've been right a purse are worth 25 grand if they're worth a nickel. And I'm gonna get them. Say, but Slug, this ain't no time to pull off a trick like that. You ought to lay low now that the whole town is stirred up over this Austrian criminologist, Professor Eisenkopf. Ah, oh, don't be a numpche. No wiener schnitzel is gonna stop me from knocking off a swell job like this. <laughs> you leave eyes and cop to me. I'll take care of him. Well. That's not it. That's not the effect I want at all. Drop it just a little. I want to make this look artistic. Ah, oh, kibitzer. Uh, excuse me. I was just wondering... You'll find a barber shop four doors down. <laughs> barber shop? <laughs> I see. You don't know who I am. No, let me guess. Let's see now. An Airedale. Oh. No, sir. I am Herr Professor Eisenkopf. Herr Professor is right. I see you carry your samples with you. <laughs> Look at that tapestry, will you? Oh, oh, oh. oh, pardon me. This is Blodgett, my mental hazard. Honey. Ach so. My card. Oh, thanks a lot. Here, have one of mine. Say, is this your name or a new cure for athlete's foot? <laughs> oh, I see. You are a criminologist also. <coughs> <coughs> yes, we've been mixing.
mixed up in prisons for years. Ach ja, und so, but then we have much in common. That's exactly what I was afraid of. You have to the slump mullets, huh? Ach ja, und poof. With my system, I could capture him as quick as you could say my name. Well, let me check up on that. That wouldn't be so quick. <laughs> this afternoon, I am to make a lecture at Mrs. Van der Rijders. All right. You come with me as my guest, and I will explain my system. Do we eat? Down, Blodgett, quiet. We accept, and with gusto. Good. Then you will meet me in front of the Grayson Hotel at 4 o'clock. We'll be there. Oh, pardon me, is this party formal, or do we uh, wear our own clothes? Uh, it is formal. Remind me to rent some clothes, Blodgett. Oh, well, I will go now, huh? Okay. Tina. Oh! Oh! Eisenkopf is right. Eisenkopf is always right. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe I go capture the slump mullets right now. Just to keep in practice. Auf Wiedersehen. Watch out for him, he's a tough nut. <laughs> you know, I kind of like that professor's face. That is the little of it that I can see. <laughs> so do I. But come on, let's get going. I'll use a bigger nail this time so the wind won't blow the posters down. Okay. Stop! Out! 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 <laughs> I know, don't tell me. The wrong nail. Collier shots! Look at that! What a beautiful shade of blue. Let's see. It just matches your eyes. But enough of this skylocking. What I really need is a larger hammer, or you should have smaller thumbs. Well, be careful. Let's get going. Wilbur, be careful with that sickle. You might hurt Papa. All right, Papa. I'll watch out. What's this one, Blodgett? Nonchalantly taking his magnetic tack hammer in hand, with one well-directed blow, he sinks the nail home. Ah! Ooh! 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 Wilbur, didn't I tell you to put that sickle down? Do you want to cut Papa's throat? I didn't do anything. Well, give me that sickle. If you want to play with it, play with it out there. Okay. Go on. Slug Mullen uses a viper. Fooey on you. Here's one right in the heart. Oh! Oh! Wilbur, if you... There... Uh. Oh, I'll find out what this is. Blodgett, oh. I can do this with my eyes shut. Look. So! You're the guy! No apologies, neighbor. It's a lucky thing for you you didn't have your tongue hanging out. You just wait till I get down from here. Away, Blodgett, in high gear. Hey, wait a minute. How am I going to get down out of here? Come on, Wilbur, help me, will you? Oh, boy, are we having fun. You mean, are you having fun? Oh, tut, tut. There's such a scope to this business. It broadens one's mentality. Yes, and flattens one's thumb. Oh, don't be a softy, Blodgett. Oh, look. That sign says post no bills. Yes, but it don't say positively. Blodgett, you say the tritest things, and so often. Ah. Come on, let's get going. Blodgett, I believe in indoor as well as outdoor advertising. Ah, so I noticed. <laughs> ah, the morning paper. Ouch! Blodgett, this paper don't belong to us, but we'll read it anyway. Ah, oh, our old friend Professor Eisenkopf, beard and all. <laughs> I wonder if he captured Slug Mullins yet. <laughs> and he's gonna be the guest of honor at the Van Riders. How nice. <laughs> well, Professor, you don't have to go to the party this afternoon. I'm gonna take your place. Shifty. Hey, Slug. What's the matter? Take a look at this. Where'd you get it? Why, the whole town plastered with it. If I ever get my hands on the guy who's putting these up, out. Look out. Come on. I gotta work fast. Get my makeup box and false speed. His car will be in front of the hotel in an hour. Right. Go on. Here he comes! Here I go! Yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you, sir. We are Professor Eisenkopf's guests. He is expecting us. That is his car at the curb. Don't ever put up your hands to me if you don't mean business. 
the professor will be right down. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? Well, cheerio, pip pip, and... Fair play there, Jack. Fair deal is all I want. No, you don't, Tiny. Your car is ready, Professor. Thank you. And your two guests are waiting for you. My two guests? Yes, sir. Uh, oh, yes. My two guests. Thank you. Hey, Slug, want me to knock those two guys off? Not Slug, Professor. No, I'll take him with me. They may come in handy. You scram. Okay. <coughs> Hello, oh, Professor. Oh, oh, oh. Well, how are you? Glad, Glad to, see to see you again, Professor. Well, here we are, Johnny on the spot. Yes, you are both on the spot. Ah, there's a <laughs> nifty. <laughs> Always the wag, eh? Come, boys, we had better go. Hey, he's going to take us for a ride. Und how? <laughs> Abercrombie, to the Van Ryder domicile, and don't you dare dally. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Floating power. Jeez and crackers, get off my foot. Well, you brought him in. I'll sit over there if well, possible. Go ahead and get over. <laughs> it's a little crowded, but I'll make out all right. Get the feet on the floor. I'm uh, a... Hey, Professor, have we been on the job? Yeah. Get a load of this. All right. Woo! Eisenkowski, we got that bozo's face all over town. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, look, there's just a sample. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, ain't you afraid maybe that he gets mad with you? Me afraid of Slug Mullins? Don't be silly, Professor. Why, we ran into him in his hideout today. Certainly. <laughs> You're telling me. Well, what happened? What happened? Why, I shot him in the jaw. I punched him in the nose. I can't like that. Why, I'd have knocked him stiff if about 12 of his pals hadn't turned the machine gun on me. Yeah. Is that so? And how? <laughs> hey, look. Ain't that a swell frame for Slug Mullins' pan? <laughs> I bet someday he gets even with you. I'd like to see him try it. I'm a tough hombre myself. I'm so tough I eat prunes and enjoys them. <laughs> well, when you meet him, you got guns with you? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, those are not guns. Those are cook stove lights. Yes, we're kitchen police. <laughs> a flash in the pan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you should have. Oh, a new cigar lighter. How does it work? <laughs> hey, hey, that's dangerous. You could hurt a guy with a thing like that. <laughs> Say, it's a lucky thing for us he's not Slug Mullins. You said it. Well, what am I worse? Hey, 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 hey! Oh, for a moment you scared me there. <laughs> Professor, you're always clowning. <laughs> Boy, you kill me. And me too. Yeah, maybe someday I will. Don't be gruesome. There's another one. Oh, have we got Slug Mullen's face where it belongs? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, you got cramps? Oh, it's hold <laughs> everything. I will call you, yes. Oh, Professor, so glad to have you on us with your presence. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Van Ryder. And may I present my two friends, Dr. Periwinkle and Major Blythe. Come, Doctor. Delighted, Major. <laughs> oh, stop. Hey, 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 give me my nibbling. That's the way I got it. That's why I didn't check my hat. It's rented, too. <laughs> Professor, the other guests are waiting for you in the drawing room. May I have you announced? Stop right there, Vansy. I do all the announcing for the Professor. Isaac, I'll give you an announcement like you never had before. Ha ha ha, thank you. Thank you. Un <laughs> Quiet, everybody. What do you think this joint is, a joint? <laughs> the batteries for today's game, pitching for the Yankees, Chubby Van Ryder. This ain't a ball game. Oh, my mistake. The first bout this evening will be four rounds. In this corner, we have Knockout Eisencup, the bearded wildcat. Wrong again. All right, sue me. Hey, Chubb, you take it. I'm being heckled. <laughs> Our guest of honor, Professor Eisenkopf and his associates, Dr. Periwinkle and Major Blodgett. Hey! 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 How do you do, Professor Eisenkopf? Thank you. Dr. Musgrove, Professor. Oh, oh you Doc, how's things? Miss Fitzgerald. How are you? Oh, yeah. Uh, All right. Mr. Ford. How do you do? Oh, you, <laughs> you remember me, Chubby. Yes. Everybody have a good time. Yes, you, Professor.
How do you do? Dr. and Mrs. Ellis. In Vienna, they say, he's greater than Sherlock Holmes. Oh, food. Here's where I get the wrinkles out. Get even for the last three years. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. I'll take this one. Well. Am I going to eat you, or are you going to eat me? <laughs> Most antagonistic sandwich I've ever met. Oh. Ah, you cad, you. Oh, wise guy, eh? I'll fix you. <laughs> Let's see you get out of that. <laughs> Come on, Blodgett, that ain't hay, you know. <laughs> Please, thank you. Hello, Admiral. How's everything in the Navy? Navy, sir? I'm the butler, sir. With clothes like that? A butler? Don't give me that. It's men like you who've taken this country off the gold standard. Oh, really, sir, I assure you. You should be ashamed of yourself. What are your children going to think of you? Oh, I have no children, sir. A ne'er-do-well, eh? Yes, sir. How dare you? Who would be phoning a butler? Hello, line's busy. Furthermore, you have the wrong number. Besides, there's nobody home. Wow. Butler, indeed. Really, I am, sir. Is this some trick of yours, Jack? No, sir. You may go now, but not too far. Oh, by the way, uh, how are things in general? Splendid, sir. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Hello? Who? Jordan. I'll find out. Hey, Chubby. <laughs> Chubby. Woo -hoo. Is there a guy here by the name of Jordan? Why, no. Don't shout. Never be raucous. Hello? No, there's no one here by the name of Jordan. Maybe you're looking for the river. <laughs> What's that? Oh, Warden! Blodgett, it's the Warden! Hello, Wardy, old pal. We put those posters all over town. What's that? You got a tip that Slug Mullins is going to get in the Van Ryder home in disguise and steal the pearls? Well, don't worry. We're here with Professor Eisenkopf, the famous science stiff. Leave everything to us. Slug Mullins wouldn't have a chance with us on the job, eh, Professor? <laughs> no, of course not. Still, we better hide the pearls. Certainly. They'd be duck soup for Slug where they are now, you know. Now to find a safe place for these. Isaac, you take him. Und how? Und how is right. <laughs> what a joke on Slug Mullins when he finds out the professor has the pearl. You said it. Hey, maybe Slug's here already. No, I hardly think so, but we'll check up to be sure. Now, don't move anybody. Remember, you're all under suspicion. <laughs> no tricks there, Slug. Take him off. We know you. Come out from behind that broccoli. Uh it's all right, my mistake. It's for your own good. You're okay, miss. Oh, Senator, I'm so sorry. I'm sure they can't suspect you, my dear. Not so fast there, Commodore. You're next. That's okay. Oh, treachery, eh? Keep away from pool rooms or they'll bank you in the side pocket. <laughs> How have you been, miss? Oh, pretty good. Why not? Really, my dear, we must be going. Oh, I'm so sorry. Aha! Oh. Oh, ho! Who is this vulgar person? Oh, may you tell him. I would say you're an underwear model on the loose. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. He says he's Professor Eisenkopf, lady. Ridiculous. This is Professor Eisenkopf. Eh? Ah, he is an imposter. What? Nonsense. This is Professor Eisenkopf. You couldn't fool me. Look, I'll show you. All right. Ah, ah, it's luck, you rat! Jug. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> At last, we're safe from Slug Muller. You said it. <laughs> 